Hi, I'm Andy Dettin, a Director of Licensing at Wharf. And I'm IP Manager Victoria Sutton. For the 2020 Wharf Innovation Awards, we're excited to nominate Dr. Randolph Ashton and his team for their work developing improved stem cell derived models of human neural tissue. This technology has tremendous potential. It provides a critical step towards bioengineering reproducible spinal cord and brain organoids with applications such as disease modeling, drug development, and regenerative medicine. Congratulations to Randy and his team. We're pleased to recognize your research in this vital area and look forward to your next steps. So my name is Randolph Ashton. I am an associate professor of biomedical engineering and I work over at the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery. I'm also the associate director for the UW-Madison Stem Cell Regenerative Medicine Center. For about a decade now, uh, scientists have been developing methods to culture human stem cells outside of the body, um, and they culture them as a spheroidal aggregate. Uh, and when you do that, the cells spontaneously start to differentiate and undergo processes that mimic early human development. And so they can start to create structures that look like uh, what we see in developing human brain, lung, and gut tissues, for example. And so our technology basically allows a, a very simple method uh, to control this development, particularly for generating models of the brain and spinal cord. And so very early in human development, uh, you form a tube-like structure, which we call the neural tube. And our technology allows us to essentially biomanufacture these neural tube-like structures um, at will. This will allow us to create models of the uh, human brain and spinal cord that are anatomically uh, similar to what we see in the developing human embryo and really will allow us to push the technology of creating these types of brain and, and, and spinal cord models in a dish to the next level so that they really closely model uh, what normally forms in the human embryo. And that allows us to uh, be much more precise in the therapies we can develop uh, for the diseases that we can now model with these tissues. We would hope that this technology gets used broadly. Sometimes techniques like this are thought of as being niche because they're so hard to access, but they have such great utility for generating novel therapies that we think the easier this is to, to use, the more, the more potential we have to, say, uh, affect human health outcomes in a positive manner.